Today we're going to be building a boiler skid using a 20 by 8 platform and MECU's structural steel module. In the video you'll also see three viewports which will allow us to view the model in ISO view and plan view. So loading up the structural steel shape module you'll see the S shapes. It's important to note that we'll be selecting the top part of the beam within the thumbnail itself. Then we simply snap over the construction lines and the beam is inserted. Next we'll be creating an array five rows by one column and then setting the distance to two feet. Between the beams we'll be using a schedule 40 then selecting a two inch pipe for the bracing. Next in the structural shape menu we'll change this to a round pipe and then we'll select the midpoint between the two beams and insert the bracing. And next we'll move the pipe in two inches away from the end of beam using polar tracking. We'll then use the array command and copy the bracing in a 4 by 16 array and making the distance around 15 inches between each member. And next we'll be using the MECQ 3D plate utility and then setting the corner to corner dimensions and thicknesses within the dialog. And then we'll be selecting the area within the thumbnail that represents the X and Y. And then you'll see the plate is immediately inserted on top of the beams and bracing we've just drawn. Now we can run the bill of materials from our drawing. We'll check to make sure that the schedule tables are correct and then we'll insert the table as shown. Here you'll see the five beams, 64 of the schedule 40 pipes, and then one plate. And then you'll see the entire weight of the skid assembly. We hope this video has been helpful and feel free to call us at 888-271-7121 and uh, you can always reach us on the web at www dot cadavenue.com. Thanks and have a great day.